Here we have a 67,000 kilometer Japanese import 560 SEC instrument cluster with the dreaded dot disease as I have come to learn its name. Um, I have some time today so I'm going to have a look at what these things are underneath the microscope. I don't want to destroy this cluster. Um, the gauges and whatnot are in pretty good condition. Uh, fortunately the dreaded dot disease does extend onto all painted surfaces inside the cluster including areas that are not visible so you can experiment on those without any harm to the cluster. So that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, firstly this is a, a bit of a close-up on what those white dots are on this cluster anyway. They're white crystalline uh, structures that are breaking through the porous matte black paint finish. And here's a bit of a close-up. I'm not convinced that this is fungus. I think something else is going on here. Um, just as a bit of an experiment um, in this section here where it's a little bit darker, I did actually wipe pure bleach just to see what would happen to these white crystals. And we'll have a look at that under the microscope. Uh, so here I am leading into that area where I have wiped and you can see that it has removed the basically oxidized crystal tops of those uh, dots but the rest of it still remains and disgustingly uh, it's basically just brown goo leaching through the porous surface of that black paint. Now this makes me think that it's some kind of uh, degradation of the plastic primer that's going on underneath the paint and it's not fungus at all. Possibly uh, the fact that you do wipe the tops of these white crystals off with bleach is what makes people think that it is fungus because yes it does seem to get rid of them but I can guarantee that's going to come back at some stage because that brown goo is still sticky and it's still leaking through. And at some stage, when exposed to the atmosphere, it's going to oxidize like this. And the whole process will need to be done all over again. Of course, that's the case with this cluster. I can't speak for all of them. Uh, but I think it's possibly the same on others as well. Uh, just another little experiment. I decided to sand through the top coating of the paint to expose some of that primer and you can see here that I have broken through in a couple places even down to the plastic body itself. I just used fine grained sandpaper uh, what I had lying around and yes this is an area that can't be seen so there's no harm done in this little experiment and you can see underneath the microscope uh, the smooth plastic at the bottom is the bare plastic and the top is that disgusting primer that has gone all gooey. So I think that's what's going on here. 